Vanessa Kisowile ni mwanzilishi na mkurugenzi wa organization ambayo sio ya ni non-profit inaitwa She Found tuna support wanawake wanaoendesha biashara na biashara ambazo zinaongozwa na wanawake lakini pia tunasaidia wanawake kuingia kwenye uwanda mzima wa teknolojia na masoko na biashara ili, ili kuweza kukuza uchumi wao na kupo, kuondoa au kupunguza kabisa janga zima la umasikini na madhara yanayokuja na umasikini yanayokuwa yano faced na wanawake sababu kubwa ya kwa nini tume host da slash ni kwa sababu slash kama ambavyo platforms nyingine zozote ambazo zimekuwa hapo ulimwenguni imekuwa inatengeneza opportunity kwa ajili ya vijana kuweza ku jua um, possibilities ambazo zipo kwenye maeneo ya biashara, teknolojia na kuweza kukuza ujuzi wao ili waweze kuingia kwenye soko la kia, la uajiri la kitaifa na kimataifa. Sasa kwa sababu sisi tuna focus kwa wanawake zaidi na tukaona slash ina imeweza kukua na kutengeneza influence kubwa na impact kubwa kwenye ecosystem yao ya sio Finland peke yake lakini kwenye jamii nzima ya Europe hasa kwa vijana tukasema wanawake tunaofanya nao kazi kweli wanajitahidi na players wengi tunafanya kazi kwa zaidi lakini dunia imebadilika teknolojia imekuwa inabadilisha vitu haraka sana na bahati mbaya hawana opportunity ya kuwa exposed kwenye hayo mazingira kwa tuka partner na slash kufanya da slash ili wale wanawake ambao tunafanya nao kazi kwa sababu mwisho wa siku sisi tunafanya nao kama wanawake lakini mwisho wa siku wakienda duniani wanafanya kazi na ulimwengu right uh, kwa hiyo tukapata na da slash ili kutengeneza mazingira ambayo wanawake wanaweza sio tu kujifunza na kuwa exposed na kukuza vipaji vyao na uwezo wao kwenye kuendesha biashara, kwenye kutengeneza fedha, kwenye kukuza uchumi wao, lakini pia wanaweza kufanya kazi na jamii nzima ya Tanzania, ya Afrika na za kimataifa. Slashdi ni event ya kidunia. Zilianza huko uh, Estonia na yeye sasa hivi ameweza kufanya hapa Tanzania. Sisi kama tume tunatoa ushirikiano katika mambo hayo na tunamwambia kwamba e, tafanyika event nyingine kama hii atuhusishe tuifanye iwe kubwa zaidi ikiwezekana iwe inafanyika hata mikoani mbalimbali na kitu kikubwa sisi tume kilichotupendezea ni kwamba kwenye event kama hii e, wenyewe wanapofanya sio kwamba e, sisi watu wa serikali tuje tuwapangie vijana wafanye nini tukio kama hili Hawa filosofia yao ni kwamba vijana wenyewe wanaandaa wanaandaa mada na wana, wana discuss vitu ambavyo vina vinawakuta wao changamoto ambayo sisi kwetu ni muhimu sana kuzijua changamoto zao ili tuweze kuwasaidia vijana wazidi e, kwenda kufanya kazi yao vizuri kama tume sisi tunatambua kwamba e, ukiangalia watu wenye miaka 30 na kushuka chini kwa Tanzania kwa takwimu sita tumia takwimu za za, za census hivi kwa sababu hawajatoka uh, matokeo lakini kwa takwimu za UNICEF inaonesha kwamba ni asilimia sabini ya population ya Tanzania ukichukua wa, kwa watu wa miaka 18 kushuka chini ni asilimia msini. kwa hiyo kuna asilimia 20 kuanzia 18 mpaka 30 ambao ni vijana ukifanya mahesabu kwa population ambayo tunaambiwa ni milioni sitini, ni wazi kabisa unaona kuna vijana milioni mbili ambao inatakiwa waingie katika soko la kazi waanze kufanya kazi. Sasa matukio kama haya yanaonyesha vijana fursa mbalimbali za kidijitali zilizokuepo ndani ya nchi hii ili waweze kufanya shughuli zao naweza kujiajiri wenyewe. Kwa sababu watu milioni 12 eh sijawahi kuona nchi yote duniani serikali imeajiri eh, watu milioni 12. Haipo hiyo. Kwa hiyo sehemu kubwa ambayo wanaweza kufanya ni kwenye mambo ya ubunifu na Tanzania ina fursa nyingi sana za kwenye ubunifu. Na kwenye matukio kama haya ni watu wanaweza kujifunza na kujifunza kwa vijana wenzao sio kwamba kujifunza na watu wengine lakini kingine kikubwa ambacho mimi kimenivutia mimi binafsi ni kwamba kuna kuna mbunifu mmoja wa dunia amekuja katika tukio hili ambaye anatambulika dunia nzima ni bilionea wa dola na ame create games vitu ambavyo sisi huko tunaona kama ni vitu 
vya kawaida sana kwamba mtu aweza katengeneza maisha kwa kutumia hiyo. Lakini yeye ametengeneza ametengeneza game na hizo games zinajulikana kama Angry Bird. Watoto wetu wanazishezea wana sana hapa Tanzania. Yuko hapa katika tukio hili. Na amekuja kuzungumza na vijana katika hali ya kawaida kabisa. Sasa kwa yeye kuja kwanza anatengeneza ile confidence kwa vijana kuona kwamba kumbe vitu vinaweza vikafanyika. Oh, sure want to be too. Oh, no, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, so I'm uh, Peter uh, Westerbach and I'm uh, one of the founders of uh, Slush and uh, also been uh, involved with this little thing called Angry Birds. So as the mighty eagle uh, there, so uh, many of you probably played that game. And I'm from uh, Finland, so that's actually where we started Slush all the way back in 2008. And uh, yeah, I'm here for the Slush uh, Dar event. Uh, so um, it's uh, really great to see so many young people here, so many entrepreneurially minded young people, many startups. Uh, so Slush uh, is all about bringing together uh, the young people and you know the slightly older people and uh, working together to change the world. And and I think that's uh, what all entrepreneurs, what we all want, always want to do. And Here, uh, I think that there's uh, so much talent. Uh, so this is actually my second time here in in Dar uh, this year, and I was already impressed when I was here like last time. So I think that there's uh, a lot of opportunity, a lot of opportunity for us uh, to work together. You know, the young people here in in Tanzania and also the young people in Finland, in Nordics, in Europe. I think that there's uh, a lot that we can do together, and I I see. Uh, you know, uh, many, many uh, exciting and actually also successful startups emerging here uh, already. But I really expect to see many, many more. And that's also what uh, Slush is all about and why uh, we're now here in, in Dar. So, uh, again, uh, uh, lots of opportunity, lots of opportunity to work together and lots of opportunity for us slightly older people to put the young people in charge and uh, help them Uh, change the world. Sana mimi naitwa Agapiti Mandai, ni mkurugenzi mtendaji wa Tanzania Data Lab. Uh, leo tupo uh, as partner partners wa, wa Slash. Uh, Slash ni event kubwa sana ambayo ya kibunifu na kijasiria mali ambayo ilianzishwa katika nchi ya Finland katika uh, mak, uh, makao makuu ya, ya nchi ya Finland yani Helsinki na wao kwa namna moja au nyingine baada ya kuendesha slash kwa kipindi cha miaka kadhaa miaka kama mitatu minne then sasa wameanza kutoka nje ya Finland na kuweza kuchagiza ubunifu uh, kwa vijana mbalimbali mbali. na uzuri ni kwamba kwa Tanzania hii ni uh, eneo lao la kwanza eh, kwa Afrika kuja kujipambanua na kujinasib kama wadau wa kukutanisha wajasiria mali na wabunifu mbalimbali mbali. vijana na sisi kama Tanzania Data Lab uh, part and parcel ya, ya, ya uh, College of ICT tunafarijika sana kuwa host wa slash katika mwaka huu 2022 hapa Dar es Salaam The innovation ecosystem in Tanzania is is growing and 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 we look at it with admiration. I see a lot of buzz around it. That reminds me a lot of my my home country Finland where lots of new startups have been put out uh, and created over the past decades by mostly very young people, students, young people who are, most of them have been inspired by Slush. Uh, here in Tanzania, Finland has been supporting the innovation sector over the years, and we are also currently looking for new ways to support um, the innovation sector here. We feel it's very important, especially when it comes to, for example, the environment and creating employment.